Hey look, it's time for more Enter the Gungeon. I'm gonna pick up the pilot and off we go. If by chance you've watched the previous videos, you might be thinking, oh hey, shouldn't it be the convict? Um, and you're right, it probably should. I actually had two runs with the convict and they were terrible. Um, for the sake of fairness, I think I'll summarize them right here. Convict. <coughs> oh, 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 come on. That was terrible. Oh, oh a bit more. Thought to fighting them. So that's that. A new day, a new run. friend's class, movement class that he was teaching today, 9.30 in the morning, which is slightly too early on a Sunday point. Actually, it's almost slightly too early on any day. Sunday, definitely a bit of a struggle. But as usual, after getting up early, I usually feel better for it. The problem is just getting past that initial getting up part. Huntsman, 38 money. Currently out of my price range. We'll definitely take a look at that. <clears throat> Water barrel. Another D20 shrine. Enfeebled and renewed. I wish I knew what these did. And. Well, also, what the. What sort of effect it has. Whether it's a oh, never mind, I can already see what I did. I lost the heart. I can't remember the message. Nothing obvious there. But I was enfeebled, and I don't like that much. Uh, I'm gonna use the lockpick and take a chance. Damn it! I had been pondering about the best like, the sort of flow chart. Now you're just trolling me, game. About the flowchart, decision flowchart, when deciding how to use the electric or keys. I'm still not sure on it. Initially, I sort of thought, hmm, maybe I should always use the keys first, and then save the lockpick for 
when I have no keys. Or perhaps I could rely on the lockpick. And then... I forgot what I was saying. Something about lockpick. Um, yeah, or I could rely on the lockpick most of the time. And then just not worry about keys at all. But the optimal is probably somewhere in between. Or, you know, some combination of. Where I'd probably save... If I could recognise chests, maybe a bit more scouting, and then determine which chests are most important and most likely to have really cool things. Then I would save keys for those, and then use my lockpick for other ones, or whenever I don't have any keys. this health and here I am with my lord maximum health I gotta say it makes me feel a little more fragile but I am not doing too badly not being hit as much as oh come on give me a thing bionic leg I think I got an armor from that. And a movement speed increase. Okay. That seems fine enough. I would still feel more comfortable with more health. But this will do. Oh, wait. Is that it? That is it. Yeah, I'm gonna grab something new. Huntsman, Axes of Evil. Haha. <laughs> Semi-automatic. Reload for momentary safety. Huh. A misbegotten attempt to combine melee and ranged combat. The axe portion of this gun is mostly worthless. Reloading it involves swinging the blade around wildly, which might protect you from a stray bullet. Neat! Well, I think. On paper. 165 ammo. That's not too bad. Okay, it's a single swing. Still. Mm, I'm not sure if my gameplay is good enough that I could sort of time that to be really good. But still. Better than nothing. Trigger twins. Let's go. mindless. I like the sound effect of the axe swing. It's kind of neat. Oh, I think it actually blocked the bullet for that. I get your carry on. Oh. Damn it. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit. Ah, uh, take that. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I really wish I hadn't taken that stupid hit before. Um, this is the only weapon I have, so ammo for that. I wish that I could pick up all of this health. I felt like there was, oh yeah, well, you know, there's still quite a bit of health just poking around that I can't do anything with. 
found a new thing. Demon head. Wanged. It's a beam weapon. Fires a superheated beam that can ignite enemies. The order of the true gun tells three tales of the demons that dwell beneath the gungeon. All end in fire. Sounds fun. Oh, shot. I like it. This is my brimstone. Uh, except brimstone, was that hot? I mean, obviously, but it gave me a different sort of feeling. I probably shouldn't be wasting it, but I didn't have enough presence of mind to do anything apart from the shoot. I really should change what I'm thinking about. Hey, what are these guys? In lieu of a better plan, one can keep shooting. I actually read that in the most recent Order of the Stick comic, which is why it was still fresh in my head. Seems like a very useful uh, piece of advice. Four blanks. Um, I think they refill each stage. I seem to recall that. I don't know, I just walked in there again. I'm not sure if I'm misremembering. I think blanks reload each level, which means that I definitely should be. Oh. I wonder if the axe swing can be used to damage enemies as well. I'm not really. Not really game to travel. I don't like this room. There is something at the other end of it, but I'm just gonna spend a moment just to make sure that yes, the flames are in fact. Damn it, that was rubbish. That was so bad. something else this run I will be reasonably pleased no obvious way to go though at the moment why is this guy different like a well aimed should actually kill those more than oh geez, that's good. Those bullet him. If I can land all of the whoa, okay, don't be too eager there. And here is the entrance to the shop. I'm going to be perfectly patient. I probably could have rolled through it. Maybe I could have even just walked down the side. I did not want to take the chance. Glacier. Full heart. 
full heart seems like the wise choice. I'm not even going to think about the Prime Primer. The heart is probably... the health is something that I probably wouldn't need to buy if I was more skilled, but for now I just want to see more stuff. And so health is... In this regard, the best. <clears throat> it's an interesting thing. Oh, what's this? Oh, I freed this guy before. Okay, so he doesn't actually appear at the top. Instead, he appears somewhere inside the run randomly. Gundren Ant, I can't remember what that's like. I can't remember what the poison vial is like or whether I've had it. Oh, and everything costs anyway, so... Well, an alternate shop. Eh? Oh. switch weapons without realizing. <laughs> that was that was a bit scary. That's the boss. I had my chance to see taking a swing with the axe to dump on Get out. I need to train this hitting cue. I mean, initially, I think it's better that I just train to hit Q when I need it. Or when I think I need it, so that that gets into a good habit, and then afterwards I can work on trying to, well, train when not to hit Q. New thing. Homing bullets. Passive. First invented by the Grey Mauser to cheat at one of Winchester's games. The Winchester eventually caught on and rebuilt his targets to appear friendly. These bullets are still exceptionally useful. This sounds like it could be very useful. Oh, hello. You freed me. Why? And that's it. Okay. Well, now I feel accomplished. I have some amount of meta progression done, so I feel a lot better for that. Oh, I think I like this a lot. It seemed like those. The uh, shotgun blast was much tighter, which is about what I'd expect. Damn it. So that's zero for two with the. Uh... Is that zero for two with the lockpick? Did I get something out of the other one? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, that's that. 39. Did I manage to save up enough to get anything else? Not the glacier. I can refill my health though. That's pretty good. And off we go to the boss. 
know, I think I've said that I haven't liked the pilot because of his um, initial blaster, and yet I think I haven't done terribly with the pilot. Ammo Conda. It doesn't matter how I did it, I still got through. It looks like a beer. <laughs> I was just thinking how it looks very much like a BFG. But instead, it is a BSG. Not a Battlestar Galactica, but a big shooty gun. Charged to clear rooms. A Gundren classic, and one of the first to be imported through the Gundren Acquisitions Department. The BSG's powerful blast will make short work of of nearly and gun dead. Twenty eight shots. Sounds good. Well, at least this game I got to see the third floor, or will, unless the game crashes. Thank you. I can't remember how many times I've seen the third floor. I am happy to see it again. Yes. Oh. oh, I didn't mean to block them. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't mean to pick them Just survive. That's the important part. Just survive. Well, I, for some reason, thought that I could just swing my axe then. Throne melee weapon. Which actually I haven't played that in a while. Can you just destroy a boss with that? I had some impression that you could for some reason. better to... it'll be better to die without blanks. Because dying while I still have blanks has always felt pretty really bad. Oh, 
go. That sucks. I was just thinking about how in Bubble Bowl you have certain bubbles which had different effects. I remember the one boss where you had the... you'd have the lightning ones. And I think that those lightning ones would always... whoops. <coughs> as soon as they popped, they'd send a lightning bolt horizontally across the screen. <coughs> Sorry, a random cough from nowhere. Where's my cursor? I don't know if there's any better way for me to train to know where my cursor is. I have a tendency of just losing it. When blown, this horn will call those nearby to aid you. There are strange inconsistencies in the behaviour of the gun dead. Originally thought to be heartless killing machines, they have been known to capture certain invaders for unknown purposes. Furthermore, evidence of a crude religion has been discovered. Perhaps one day they could be reasoned with. Let's see, how do I switch my current... This one seems more useful to have at the ready, since the lockpick obviously has no combat um, application. So here we go. Bring it on. All of this nothing. What's going on here? Dark energy. Uh, I've, I'm on one health anyway, whatever. I've gotten to the third floor, I'm pretty happy. Killed by High Gundra. Time, 25 minutes. That's not bad. That's not too bad at all. Although I never used the horn. Just a quick look to see whether... My NPC appears anywhere. Actually, I'll also see whether I can afford anything new in here. One shy of rocket-powered bullets. But I can get the heart bullets, so I might as well. There's only one thing left in here. This is still closed, whatever that is. I can't jump down there. Can I jump over here? Yep. Okay, ah, oh, that's the guy in the elevator shaft. And that appears to be it. Okay, well, that's it for now. I shall be back. I actually didn't do that badly with the pilot, but uh, next time it will be the Marine. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>